Welcome developers to this discussion on using Snapdragon processors in the development of AI-driven applications. We will look at a few features that make Snapdragon platform a top choice for AI app development. I'm Dilip Karpur, and I will be talking with Felix Baum, Senior Director of Product Management responsible for AI software products at Qualcomm Technologies. He has more than 20 years of industry experience, both as an embedded developer and as a product manager. As an expert on Qualcomm AI technologies, Felix is helping customers incorporate machine learning into their application development using Snapdragon platforms. And together, we will help you understand the technological power of Snapdragon when it comes to AI development. So Felix, um, could you let us know uh, the impact of AI on especially the developers who are using the Snapdragon platform? In the last few years, machine learning has unleashed a new era of possibilities with on-device AI. We see developers utilize this in two different ways. First way is they replace existing features capabilities with machine learning approaches and get better results. The second approach is they come up with a new, never before seen use cases and capabilities. They introduce new features that before weren't possible. For example, new ways to speak your mind. You can receive an answer by providing prompt driven interaction with your own device machine learning algorithm, for example, such as Llama 2. You run it on device and it provides you personalized responses. Another use case is a picture that is worth a thousand words, where you can uh, speak your mind and your mobile phone or computer device will draw an image based on the words that you describe. And lastly, reality reimagined. You can create enhanced images by simply drawing a picture and machine learning algorithms such as ControlNet will modify, enhance, and draw a beautiful picture for you. Utilizing machine learning, these applications that our developers can build for their consumers can run faster and more efficiently on device without the need for constant connection to the cloud or rely on cloud-based processing. Now, this means that developer can actually offer these consumers enhanced user privacy, minimize latency, and deliver this real-time performance and responsiveness to their users. Now, overall, with the support of very popular training frameworks and development tools, these developers can utilize whatever they're comfortable with to develop their models, to train their models, to compile and tune their models, and then use additional tools that Qualcomm provides them to actually generate executables for their applications and run them on device. Now, with combination of the hardware and the software frameworks and tools that Qualcomm provides, I think developers will be very happy and very efficient at taking um, their applications and enhancing them with these machine learning features and capabilities to, at the end of the day, uh, make them efficient at accelerating their timelines and time to market. So Felix, so as an end user, I would be really excited to use my AI apps without internet because all the processing is happening on the device, yep. right? Um, so just an extension of that, like what exactly on-device inference really mean? Like from the context of Snapdragon processors, AI and machine learning, what does inferencing on-device versus the cloud, whatever is happening on the today mean? On-device AI fuels a more capable, power efficient, cost effective, and secure path forward for applications. It refers to ability of device itself to arrive at the answer, complete all of the processing right there using the hardware on device without reliance on cloud-based storage or servers or internet connectivity at all. Now, it fuels innovation and it is paramount to the ability to actually deliver these exciting new experiences to the end users in reliable, fast, and secure fashion that is tailor, tailored to the end consumer. Snapdragon processors facilitate on-device inference by combining AI hardware features and software optimizations. Now, on the hardware side, 
we have a very dedicated AI accelerators that include hardware IP blocks for scalar processing, vector processing, and matrix multiplications. On the software side, we have support for optimizations and support for advanced and popular frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Onyx. Combination of this hardware and software capabilities is what delivers to the end users this ability to build applications that are extremely fast and running at a very, very low power. Developers can leverage these hardware resources to deploy their AI models and run them directly on the laptops that are powered by the Snapdragon processors. Now, combining our hardware with an operating system, such as Windows, that runs on the laptops, provides the end developers with a seamless way to put together their application, merge them with the machine learning algorithms, and combine them into the applications that they can run and deploy on these end devices. Now, um, these applications can utilize natural language processing, image enhancement capabilities, or do any other AI-related tasks to enhance the experience, make it run faster, and save the battery, which is for a lot of users very, very important. In summary, Snapdragon processors enable developers to harness full potential of on-device inferences on laptops running Windows, offering them tools and performance required to build these AI-powered applications that deliver real-time intelligent responses while respecting user privacy. So that's really exciting to know, Felix, because as a developer, I would have my own uh, and favorite frameworks like PyTorch or even Onyx Runtime or even TensorFlow for that matter. And it's great that, you know, um, all these frameworks can be deployed on our neural processing SDK on device inference as well. Um, now, coming back to some of the basic question that I had is um, not just the Qualcomm neural processing SDK, but I think Qualcomm offers the entire AI stack, right? The Qualcomm AI stack. So what exactly this Qualcomm AI stack is? Like, how can it be like, hey, I write code once and can be deployed anywhere. Is that what it really means? AI software stack is a unified portfolio of products that we deliver to our mobile, automotive, XR, compute, IoT, and even cloud platforms. Now, it is designed to help customers to optimize and deploy their AI models very quickly by supporting the frameworks, the runtimes, the libraries, system software, and operating system that are popular. Qualcomm AI stack was created with the three foundational pillars in mind. Develop once, deploy everywhere. We support, as I mentioned earlier, popular operating system across mobile, IoT, compute, XR, and other platforms. Optimize for performance and power efficiency by leveraging advanced quantization techniques and compression techniques for trained neural network models. Multiple level of access, which means that customers can pick and choose which APIs they want to use when they're deploying and running and executing their models on Snapdragon devices. Qualcomm AI stack offers two runtime frameworks with a unique set of APIs that provide users with full access and ultimate flexibility for their AI applications. Now, first of all, we have AI Engine Direct SDK that provides a low-level, unified APIs for the developers. Now, with that API, developers can stay very, very close to the silicon and through that runtime framework, get access to Qualcomm Cryo CPU, Adreno GPUs, and Hexagon NPUs. Now, um, using the Qualcomm AI Engine Direct SDK, Qualcomm helped our partners to develop TensorFlow Lite delegates, Onyx RT execution providers, and we offer our own set of APIs. Now, second is a Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK. That set of APIs support heterogeneous computing. It provides system level configuration, such as ability to uh, support fallback of the models from one hardware engine to another, um, inter-process collaboration, system level settings, and as a matter of fact, that also relies on AI Engine Direct SDK to actually deliver these capabilities and run them on each one of the hardware IP blocks. Now, the SDKs 
for these runtimes doesn't come by themselves. They come also with addition of utilities and tools that help customers to convert, quantize, tune, debug, profile, everything that a developer would need to get their applications and their AI models to run really, really fast on Snapdragon devices. In addition to that, we have an AI model efficiency tool toolkit product, or AMET as we call it, that will help customers with quantization related issues. Just for the novice users, quantization is a technique where we take floating point model and we convert them to the int 8, int 16, or sometimes even 4 models for faster execution and at a lower power. Now, when you go to the lower data types, sometimes your algorithm might lose accuracy. And the AMET tool is priceless because it can help you to recover this accuracy. So your int 8 or int 4 or int 16 for that matter algorithms deliver you the same accuracy as the original floating point based models. As you can see, Qualcomm AI Stack is a portfolio of products that help with the rapid deployment of AI models for on-device inferencing on a various Snapdragon platforms. Now, this is where portability comes to play because you can build your model once and deploy it on a wide range of processors. For example, you can build an AI model and deploy it on a mobile phone that runs on Android, on a Snapdragon laptop-based computer, or on XR or an IoT device that all built on top of Snapdragon hardware. That's great, Felix. What I really liked about the products that you mentioned, like the AI Engine Direct SDK and Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK, they both not only just help developers deploy their models, but I think it helps in that end-to-end -end solutions, what they're really looking for, right? I mean, starting from the developer ramp up all the way until the profiling and mm -hmm. debugging. So that's like a complete end-to-end -end solution for the developers. And I think developers would really, really appreciate that effort. Uh, while you were talking, Felix, you also mentioned about Onyx runtime, right? So how does this Onyx runtime really differentiate itself from the AI stack that we are already providing to our developers? Onyx Runtime is a runtime framework that offers cross-platform portability for machine learning application. It supports a number of different hardware uh, platforms from Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm, and allow customers that run, want to run their machine learning algorithms on a Windows-based devices to easily migrate from one vendor to another vendor. Qualcomm engineers, worked very closely with the Microsoft Onyx RT team to build execution provider to the Hexagon NPU. That way, if a developer using ORT on device, they will be able to not only accelerate their workloads on a CPU or GPU for that matter, but they will be able to target Hexagon NPU to achieve the best performance at a lowest power. I feel developers have a very important choice to make. They either require portability of their algorithms between different hardware vendors, Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, and the runtime framework for them to use there would be ORT. Now, if a developer and developer is looking for portability across Snapdragon portfolio of products to go from the mobile device to a laptop form factor to the XR or IT based device, then for them, Neural Processing SDK is probably a much better choice. The good news, either one of these products or runtime frameworks rely on the same AI Engine Direct SDK with the APIs. So as far as performance and power, they deliver the same results. That's great, Felix, because if I'm a developer, I don't want to be writing code for every different platform, right? I just need to write that once and I can deploy in my different hardwares that are available in the market. Right? So that saves a lot of coding time for myself or any other developers who are working on Snapdragon platforms. Um, so now I'm a developer and I just want to get started. Right, like I'm eager to get started on uh, the Snapdragon platform. So where do I start my developer journey? Well, the good news is we have a lot of resources available to you on a Windows on Snapdragon developer portals. That includes getting started with a Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK, building and running AI application on Windows on Snapdragon, using an IDE for mobile applications with a Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI, and 
the quantization workflow, workflow examples of following AMET and Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK. Thank you so much, Felix, and really for unwrapping the whole AI SDK for developers, right? And I really hope, uh, you know, the developers are motivated now to go and develop applications on our Snapdragon platform. And I really can't wait to see what developers do on our platform and the kind of apps they develop and the kind of extensions they go about doing it. Same here, super excited. Our exploration of on-device inferencing, description of Qualcomm AI stack products, Availability of Onyx runtime with Qualcomm Hexagon NPU execution provider has helped illustrate how development on Snapdragon processors and artificial intelligence go synergetically together in the creation of high-performing AI-driven applications. This highlights not only how the applications can be developed with superior AI performance, but it also shows how developers can accelerate the timeline between the development launch and getting product to the market. Look out for other videos that will help you with your AI-driven application development in our developer video series. Please visit developer.qualcom.com for additional developer resources.